Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to create a bootable OSX Mavericks USB drive. And why would you want to create an OSX Mavericks disk? Well first of all it's for free. Um, you can download it from the Apple Store if, you're, if you've got a Mac. And if you want to do a fresh install of OSX on any of your Macs then you can use this uh, USB uh, drive to be able to uh, reinstall OSX Mavericks from scratch or even upgrade uh, a previous version of OSX. Okay, so what do we actually need to complete the guide? Well, if you go to the 123myit.com website, on the very first page there, because it's the latest post, you'll see that we've got the the uh, how-to video has been online for a while and you want to find it, you can find it just under the Mac um, section of the website. So it will be within this uh, Mac area. So to complete the process, what we'll need, we need the following items. So we need an eight gigabyte USB drive or SD card, so you can put it on both of those. We need the OSX Mavericks app, okay, so we can download this from the App Store. Now if you don't, if you're running a Windows machine um, and you wanna get a copy of this, and uh, what you can do is you can actually uh, have, a, have a friend um, just download you a copy of the OSX and, and create this for you. So you do actually need to have um, OSX running to be able to uh, create a bootable OSX Mavericks drive um, or at least download the app. The next thing you need is, as I mentioned, you need the Apple computer um, or a user account with administrator rights. Okay. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is actually download the, the Mavericks um, app. Now I've actually downloaded, it's about 5 gig in size, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. If you need to download it, you can just use this link here. You click on that one. All right, um, now if you're using Windows, this will just take you to a page and you won't be able to download download it because you actually need to download the app in the App Store, okay? But if you're using iOS X, you can still click on the link, you'll be able to go through to here. You can see our App Store here is gonna pop up. And then what we'll be able to do here is we'll be able to download the OS X Mavericks install file or app. Okay, you can see here, download. So I just click on that. All right, then you would put in your password here. And you would sign in. And you can see now, it says downloading uh, six meg of five gig. Now I'm gonna cancel this. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna cancel it. But what you can do is once it's downloaded and this is finished, you just right click on here and you go copy and then you go back to your desktop and you right click on here and you go paste and you paste it in. That will actually save you from accidentally uh, using the file because it deletes itself from the launch pad uh, when it's finished downloading. So once you have that file, uh, go back to the 123MyT website and we'll continue along with the rest of the process. So it says here you need to insert your USB into your Mac, which I've already done, and that's this one here. Now guys, I've, I've got my Mac set up so these uh, drives display on the um, uh, display on my desktop. Okay, if you don't if you don't have it set up, what you can do is you can go into Finder and Preferences, and then you can just make sure that these are ticked hard disks and external disks. So when you plug in your USB drive, it will actually come up on your on your desktop here. So the next thing we need to do is go into Disk Utility. So it's under Go, and then we want to go to Utilities, Disk Utility. All right, and there you can see here. On the left hand pane here I've got my uh, 8 gigabyte drive and it's ready to be formatted. Okay so once we've got our disk utility here what we want to do is click on the USB storage device, click on partition, change the current layout, set it to one partition. All right. Make sure this is Mac OS X extended journaled. Okay. You can name this whatever you want, but I think it changes once you, you install the Mavericks. So just leave it as untitled one for the time being. And click on Options. And make sure this GUID partition table is, is selected. Click OK. And then we would just want to go Apply. And then you'll get a prompt here. Do you want to erase it? And just go Yes. I'm going to partition it. So just be careful, guys, because this will erase anything that's on the USB. 
you can see that it's mounting the USB there now it's taken it off off the desktop and it's partitioning it and it's formatting it if we go back to our uh, our tutorial here we scroll down we've just done this step six all right step seven okay now what you need to do is actually start up a terminal app so if we go into the finder type in terminal or you can also select this just from your utilities uh, menu we open that one up and what we want to do is we want to copy this um, copy this line here and this is going to reveal our files for us okay and we want to paste okay and we just want to hit return or enter on your keyboard okay and then if it works properly you should hear a, a, a voice saying files revealed and once that's done it means that our files on our PC have been revealed so we'll be able to see hidden files within this OSX um, Mavericks USB that we're, we're about to set up so it says when the USB completes the formatting go go into the launch pad and copy the OSX Mavericks to your desktop which we have right here right click and show uh, package contents okay so we'll show package contents all right and then it says here go into the contents folder and then go into the uh, shared support folder and double click the install ESD DMG file so let's click that one all right and it's going to mount this one now we should see once this comes up we should see an install ESD DMG file pop up here, all right, just like this one in the picture. Step 10, click on the mounted DMG file and find the hidden base system DMG file. So we're waiting for this one to come up. We'll just let it, let it verify. It takes a little while because it's quite a large file. Once we've mounted the OSX install ESD file, we want to double click on that Okay, and that's when it brings up our OSX install ESD file. We want to find the hidden base DMG file, which is this one here. Now see how it's kind of, they call it hidden, because that command that we ran earlier in the terminal screen, you wouldn't have been able to see these files without running that command. If we go back into our disk utility and click on untitled, then we want to hit, click on restore. Okay. And we want to drag this base system DMG file into this source menu here. And then we want to drag this destination USB out to here. Okay, so let's just go back and make sure that's the correct steps on the web page here. So drag and drop base system DMG file into the source field, which we've done, and then drop the part. Drop the partition you recently created on the USB drive into the destination field. So remember, guys, this 8 gig USB drive is our is our USB, and we've dropped it into here. Okay, step 13. Click restore and erase. So let's click back in. Restore. Erase. Now it prompts you for a password, so just add that one in, and that's the administrator password. And it's uh, trying to restore this base system DMG file. So it um, says here estimated time around six minutes. We'll kind of let that run for the time being. So we go back to the website, click on the restore button, da da da. We got prompted for the password, which we did. We entered that in. Okay, it may take some time to copy all the data to the USB drive. Okay, so got about less than one minute uh, remaining before the uh, before that process is finished there. So let's just go back here. May take some time to copy. Okay, which is almost just about finished. Uh, when the finishes, when the files have finished copying, the USB should mount automatically. Go into the system installation folder and delete the packages directory. Okay, so with any luck, we should now see our. OSX, our USB drive come up here. Okay, so you can see that's come up here. 
Now remember before how I said it would rename itself? And there you go, so it's called itself OSX Base System. Okay, uh, and it, it should be mounted there now. So let's just minimize that. And here it is here. Okay. Okay, so it says when the files are finished copying, the USB drive should mount automatically. Go into the system installation folder and delete the packages directory. So if we go back into our OSX X base system, USB, go into the system folder, go into installation and just delete that packages file there. Go back into the mounted ESD file and find the directory called packages. All right, so there's the folder called packages, okay, and it says copy this to the installation folder. Okay, so if we go back in here, so copy, and we want to copy it into the installation folder. All right, and now you're done. So we just have to wait for that to copy across. And uh, we should have created a, a copy of OSX Mavericks on a USB drive. See what happens here once this copies across. Now this may take some time. Obviously it's quite a large f file. So it will take a, a, a quite a long time to copy into this uh, USB here. Okay, so the package is, uh, is, is copied across now. So just wait until your light on your USB drive uh, stopped moving. Stop there now. Okay, so what we're going to do is just close this, close our other open windows here. I'm just going to eject this one here. Close our disk utility window. Eject. Eject our uh, USB that we've just set up. Now what I'm going to do is uh, unplug the USB. Actually, let's open up the disk utility again. And I'll sh show you real quick that it's unplugged. Or ejected. Okay, so I've ejected it out of here. I'm going to take out the USB and plug it back in. Now with any luck, it should come up as a OSX Maverick drive now. All right, and there we go. So if we wanted to install OSX Mavericks now, all we could do is just double click on this window here. All right, and it should be exactly the same as if we click on this Mavericks one, which is just a copy on the desktop. Okay, all right guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Just follow the video and follow the instructions and you shouldn't have any problem. Uh, if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.